we um, pride ourselves on being an authentic Montessori school. And we are an accredited Montessori school. There's very few schools in California that have gone through the Montessori accrediting process. It's quite difficult and lengthy and expensive. You have to keep up those standards and it's a list of standards you have to follow. And a lot of Montessori schools tend to find a slippery slope and like, oh, that is that still important? For example, the morning work period in all of our classrooms from nine to 12 is not interrupted with bells, with with an elective like PE or music or something like that. It's called uninterrupted work time. And that's a Montessori principle that's absolutely imperative. And so we stay true to that, but I know many, many other Montessori schools have had to let that slide for timing or for they're in a public setting and the public school bell rings or they have kids in preschools who have kids who have to leave at 11.30 because they're only doing half day preschool instead of full day preschool. But it, it is very easy to do. It's very easy to slip into the things that schools find that they take out don't seem so important to have in there at the moment. There's a Tim Selden who just retired as the executive director of the International Montessori Council does this great um, demonstration where you, he took the Jenga blocks and he wrote on each Jenga block a point of Montessori. And so one is the three hour work period, one is a prepared environment. And so if you take that away, then is it really Montessori anymore? And so his point is, really, you don't have to take very many before that tower falls down. The one thing that I value the most about this, because I'm a teacher and a parent, is that Bowman has never veered from their values. I'm also that type of person that's very committed to not losing my moral compass, and I, I find Bowman has been incredibly consistent with that, and I think parents gravitate towards Bowman because they know what they're going to get.